Hey everybody, it's Jared Blazer with Blazer Outdoors. Uh, it's been a, about a week since I've been able to get another video out. Just been really busy, like always. Um, but I'm pla actually planning on going fishing in the morning. So hopefully I can get a video out from that trip as well. But for now, I'm um, getting my gear together here. And I thought this would be a good opportunity to do a quick review on these Corkers Dark Horse wading boots. I've been really impressed with these boots. I've had them out a couple of times now already. And... I just can't say enough good things about them. Uh, probably the best wading boot that I've ever owned. They're really lightweight. I can't believe how light they are. Uh, I wear a size 14 in these boots. I have a big, I have a big foot. So having a big foot like that and having to get these in a larger size, uh, the weight really means a lot when you can get a good lightweight boot. They have a really good water drainage system in them. So whenever you lift your foot out of the water anything that's in them just pours right out so you don't carry around that extra water weight makes them extra heavy got the boa lace system on the front here which i love i'll never go back to a regular lace system on a wading boot my last pair of wading boots had the boa system on them so you just click them in slide your foot in they stench right down uh, it's really good for making micro adjustments like if you're wearing a pair of waders or you know, you just want a little bit of extra wiggle room or you want them a little more tight. You can kind of adjust them however you want. When you go to take them off, pop that out and it just loosens right up, slide your foot right out. It's really nice. Uh, what I really wanted to go over on these boots was the interchangeable soles. So this is the first pair of corker boots that I've owned and I was really curious about the interchangeable soles. It just seemed really convenient, really nice. The soles of your boots wear out. You don't have to buy a whole brand new pair of boots. You can just buy a pair of soles to replace them. And I actually think that they make about eight or nine different styles of soles that you can buy for these. So when you buy the boots, you actually get two different pairs of soles right off the bat where you can change them out. So mine came with the rubber, obviously, which is already on it. And it came with the felt. Now, I've had a chance to try both of these out. Uh, the first time I took these boots out, I wore the felt soles. They worked extremely well. Did not slip one time. I was really impressed with them. Um, the last time I went out, I wore the rubber soles because I was going to be on the trail hiking more than I was actually going to be in the water. Once I got in the water, they did slip a little bit. Nothing major, nothing really to be too concerned about but they was a little more slick than the felt so i think later on down the road i may actually buy the set of soles that have the aluminum bars going across give those a try but for now i think those are going to work great as far as if i'm going to be hiking in somewhere a long ways i can wear the rubber soles in keep the felt ones in my pack and before i get in the water just change them out real quick and it's really fast and convenient and simple to change these out. And I'm gonna show y'all how to do that right now. Set this camera up here. Hopefully y'all can see this okay. So you've got this pull tab on the back of the boot. Undo it. Shake the camera around. Undo your pull tab. And then the sole literally just pops off the bottom of your boot. Just like that. Lay it to the side. Take your new sole. Slide it in. Just like that. And then you've got these orange tabs on the side. That just pop into place. you got three on each side. Pop in real easy. But another thing is. These go in real easy. But I've never had a problem. With these wanting to come off. While I'm on the trail or in the water. They stay in place once they're in place unless you take them off yourself. So once you get them all popped in, you take your pull tab, fasten it back in the back here. And there you go. Just changed from rubber sole boots to felt sole in just a few seconds. That quick and simple. Uh, I can't wait to try these boots out more as I fish. Corker's Dark Horse wading boots. I love them. Also, uh, one thing I wanted to mention is I'm actually thinking about changing the channel name. 
Uh, I know it's real early in the channel. I don't have that many subscribers yet. Hopefully that'll change though. So if you haven't subscribed already, uh, like the video, subscribe. Go ahead and take care of that before you forget. Helps me out a lot, helps the channel out. But I'm thinking about changing the channel name to something like Blazer Smoky Mountain Adventures. Uh, I don't know, I just think it has a better ring to it. I like it a lot better. Uh, Blazer Outdoors is just kinda simple and meh. So I don't know, we'll see. Might do it, might not. So if you see something like that, like Blazer Smoky Mountain Adventures, it's just me. You've not stumbled across some channel that you didn't even know you subscribed to. It's just me, I just changed the channel name. But uh, I appreciate y'all watching and hopefully I'll get a video out from fishing in the morning. Thanks.